is your energy zapped? Are you feeling like you need to own stock in, in some energy drinks? Do you feel like you can't focus because you're just so tired and fatigued? Well, it's time to snap out of it. Stay tuned, help is on the way. Now, I could hit the pillow and I could fall asleep like I hadn't slept in weeks because I was so exhausted. But I would get up in the middle of the night and I would have not dreams, but thoughts of what I needed to do tomorrow. And I would keep a notepad by my bed because every time they woke me up with these thoughts of what I needed to do Tomorrow, I couldn't go back to sleep in fear that I would forget something. So I would keep a notepad by my bed to jot it down so that I could release my mind from those thoughts to go back to sleep. And it never failed. I always had more thoughts of more things to do that just, it just kept escalating. And by the time I woke up the next morning, I was exhausted and I had a whole list of things to do. Then I had anxiety over that whole list of things that I created in the middle of the night. And I was like, I wish my brain could shut off. Well, guess what the doctor did for me? Gave me a prescription for uh, Ambien to help me sleep. Okay, well, you know, Yes, it knocked me out. It also made me non-coherent, so I didn't even know what was going on. And it masked the problem. It didn't fix the problem. And then I became dependent on Ambien to help me sleep. And, you know, after a while, one Ambien's not enough. You need one and a half or two. And that's not good either, especially when I learned that there are things that we can do to fix that. So if your mind's racing, if you can't sleep or you're waking up in the middle of the night... Um, that could be an issue. Another thing is hair loss. Hair loss can also go with thyroid problems. So, you know, you have to play around with it. But I'll tell you, the great thing about it is diet for thyroid and diet for adrenal fatigue, diet for fat loss. The nutritional part, you're going to see they're all similar. And in other videos, I've talked about specific things to do with water and diet that all tie in no matter what issue you have, whether it's thyroid or adrenals. So that's the cool thing about it is if we just eat right, it's going to take care of a conglomeration of things. One of the things that I really related to is belly fat because when I started, I had a 48 inch waist. I looked like not Mrs. Claus, I looked like Santa Claus because my belly was big and round and I had that big round kind of a moon face. And that is one of the signs of adrenal fatigue is that you have this big apple kind of shape. You know, it's not like a, a figure eight or a pear shape. It was just, I was just round. I had no curves at all other than round. 